be demonstrating how to create a flames of doom effect using Photoshop. These effects are great for backgrounds and signatures. First off, we'll start by going to File, New. I'm using a 400 width by 400 height here. Background contents white, pushing OK. Next off, we have to make sure your set color is set on black. You do this by just clicking on the foreground color palette there, choosing black, OK. We need paint paint bucket tool on for this one. Fill by pushing left click. Next we go filter down to render lens flare brightness 100 percent 35 mil prime here we're using just leave it where it is. You move it around wherever you like though. Just hold left click and drag. Okay. Do it another two more times down to render, lens flare, hold left click on the mouse, drag it wherever you want, OK, filter, render, lens flare, click and drag, yep, looks alright. Next we go back up the filter down to sketch to chrome, chrome, detail 10, smoothness 0 should be, OK. Next we have to go up to filter again, down to distort, down to wave, okay, just leave the settings how they are, okay, back up the filter again, down to distort, down to wave, press OK again. Next we have to duplicate this layer, we do this by going up to the layer menu, duplicate layer, pretty straightforward. Oh, name this one, OK. Back up the filter again, down to distort, down to wave. OK. Next we're going to lighten this layer here. We do that by going to the layers menu down the bottom here. On this tab, pressing it, as you can see, lighten, click it. Now next we're going to merge these layers together. We do that by pressing and holding down control and pushing E on the keyboard and as you can see it's merged together next we have to duplicate this background layer here another three times we do that the same go up to layer, duplicate layer, we'll name this one ok, layer new duplicate layer, two we'll name it back up to layer, duplicate layer, three ok, so now it's background, that's one say that's two, that's three, that's four, that's four layers in total, that's what we need. Next we have to rotate these layers, we do this by going to edit, transform, rotate. Now I'm rotating number three here first, you can do it whatever you like but do not touch the original layer background because we want all the other three layers to be facing different directions to the original on here we'll type in 90 degrees OK number two now edit transform rotate at 130 degrees OK number one we'll rotate this one edit transform rotate at 180 degrees OK next we have to lighten these layers again we do that again by going to layers tab lighten number two now down lighten number three tab lighten now we're going to merge these again from, we do that from top to bottom, so we click the top layer first, control, hold control, press E, press E again, press E again. As you can see, they've all merged into the one. Next off, we go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, click colorize, and just set the color to whatever you like. Well, obviously this is flames of doom effect, so it'll have to be a ready orangey colour. Set it up. 
at 66, say, 67. Bit of brightness into it. Okay, and there you have it. Flames of Doom effects using Photoshop.